The weather was perfect for a night of football as the number three ranked Huskies 2008 campaign began with a Friday night home game for the first time in four years. The Nova Scotia International Air Show helped kick off the season in memorable style to celebrate both 75 years of football at St. Mary's and the 2007 UTEC Bowl Championship. During the final strains of O Canada, the Canadian Forces Skyhawks parachute demonstration team descended on Husky Stadium bearing the Canadian flag, the flag of Nova Scotia, and the university's flag. The final jumper carried the game ball into the stadium which was delivered to the Huskies mascot and then to the game officials for inspection before kickoff. Al Keith, former Huskies player, head coach, and athletic director, was remembered with a moment of silence, which concluded with the flyover of the Canadian Harvard aerobatic team. On offense, a pair of Halifax-born quarterbacks would pilot the Huskies as Ted Abraham opened up the game on offense and Nathan Beeler Marsman followed him up in the pivot spot. Without the benefit of a preseason exhibition game, both teams showed a little rust and got off to a slow start. Alistair Blair gained 76 yards on the ground as the Huskies converted to a ground attack plan which earned a total of 227 yards rushing. Ryan Warburton was the Huskies' top receiver on the night with 65 yards and 5 catches, earning more than half the Huskies' total receiving yardage for the game. Quarterback Nathan Beeler Marsman demonstrated a dangerous mobility and was selected as player of the game. On defense, Jeff Zielinski led both teams in tackles, with six solo and two assisted for a total of an even 7.0 and added a key interception to his evening. Carl McCartney forced a fumble and blocked a field goal kick to keep the Huskies in the lead. The defensive line kept pressure on the Acadia quarterback all night, with Austin McLennan, Dan Shute, and linebacker Reed Anderson all scoring pass breakups. On special teams, Huskies rookie and special teams demon Jamique Murray tore up the turf with 124 yards on returns to finish the game as the Huskies' top all-purpose yardage leader. Acadia opened up the scoring with a touchdown in the first quarter, but St. Mary's replied with a 15-yard run from Salmon River's own Craig Legier in the second quarter to even the game up at sevens with the extra point from Truro's Justin Polardi. Carl Hardwick put the Huskies ahead later in the second quarter on a nine-yard reception from Halifax's Nathan Beeler Marsman, and Justin Pilardi kicked the extra point. St. Mary's conceded a safety in the third quarter, and Acadia narrowed the gap further with a fourth-quarter field goal to make the final score 14-12 for St. Mary's. The win gets the Huskies off to a 1-0 start on the 2008 season. Game 2 pits the Huskies against the Quebec Conference's most formidable running attack in the Bishops University Gators, and Heck Crichton Award nominee Jamal Lee as they host the Huskies to open their brand new field turf artificial surface. <laughs>